something happened to me recently and I feel the need to share mostly for awareness. So about a year and a half ago, and I say recently because I was recently diagnosed with something really crazy. Um, about a year and a half ago, I was bitten by a lone star tick. Probably in Nebraska, I have not seen one in Minnesota. A lone star tick has a white dot. It's very obvious on its back, in the middle of its back. And so anyhow, I was bitten by a tick, but I had no idea that this tick could cause me so many problems. So that had happened, I've had hundreds of ticks on me, probably thousands since my childhood. I'm an outdoors person, I love the outdoors. And I've just always picked them off and moved on with my life. The important thing here is when you pick a tick that's latched onto you off, you need to look at it and identify what it is, what you're dealing with. And I dealt with a year and a half of some kind of big struggles, major fatigue, tiredness. I was always exhausted, very sore. My joints hurt so bad, like kind of dehabilitating to a point, like it was bad. And on top of all of that, for a year and a half straight, I had hives and a rash that never went away. Sometimes it would get a little better, but then it would pop up over here and back on this leg and on this leg. I had it constant for a year and a half. Nobody could figure out what the heck was going on with me. And I mean, and then I had some other weird symptoms too, like major brain fog. Like if I didn't write it down, I probably was going to forget it. So I had that um, extreme anxiety. That was really weird. Like I've never, I'm a high strung person. Yes, but I've never, had anxiety the way I had in the last year and a half. So recently, after many tests, they tested me for Lyme disease, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, all kinds of things, and they really did think that it was tick-borne. They just couldn't figure out why. And I know this sounds silly, but I'm really happy that I had a symptom you could see, because the rest of my symptoms you couldn't see. I just I had really bad stomach aches and, and just major everything but it, I honestly never put all the symptoms together as one problem it all stems back to I was bitten by a lone star tick and I am now allergic to meat mammal meat in particular obviously I can eat chicken I can eat fish um, but I am allergic to mammal meat I have something called alpha gal syndrome for my lone star tick it's been a huge lifestyle change for me so for a year and a half, obviously I didn't quit eating meat. We're hunters, we eat red meat all the time. And technically I was basically poisoning myself for a year and a half, not even realizing what I was doing. And the problem with that is, is most food allergies, you have an immediate reaction. You eat peanuts, you immediately react. You eat, I mean, whatever you're allergic to, you usually immediate react. The problem with meat and alpha-gal is you don't react until four to six hours later, which actually was the case with me all along, but I had never heard of alpha-gal syndrome. So I didn't even know it was a thing. I didn't even know you could be allergic to meat, which is ridiculous. So yeah, I eventually had actually read something on Facebook about alpha-gal syndrome and it was listing off all of you know, the side effects. And I was like, oh my gosh, that actually sounds like maybe that's what this could be. The doctors really couldn't figure it out. They just were like, I, we don't know. I did a little more digging and a little more research and I went in and I asked for a very specific blood test and it came back positive. I'm, I'm allergic to beef, I'm allergic to lamb, I'm allergic to pork, and probably a multitude of other things because of this. And I guess, I guess I'm just really happy that I stuck with it. I needed to figure out what was wrong with me. I was in, I was in a lot of pain. I was but I never put all my symptoms together as one problem. I'm like, oh, I'm just getting old, or oh, I did too much this week, or oh, I, I did not know what the hives were, were from. Like, that was the only thing that really kept me pushing forward, like, you have a problem. It is clear. Your body is fighting itself for some reason. It's been an interesting thing. It is almost the end of June, and I was diagnosed at the beginning of April, basically, and had to change my whole diet all of my nutrition. For a little bit there, I felt like I was starving to death because meat, I rely on meat. Meat is important probably to most humans, unless you're an absolute vegan or vegetarian. Meat is an important part of a diet. I've lost 15 pounds because 
like I said for a second there I thought I was starving to death but um, I think I, I think I'm on track nutritionally now I do have to carry two EpiPens with me um, it is a it's a pretty serious thing I mean like I said you eat a steak and four to six hours later you react and anaphylactic shock is one of the reactions I might have been close to that a couple times but had no idea what I was even dealing with because I'd never felt that way before so but now I know looking back it, it's pretty scary so yeah living my life a little differently mostly this video is seriously to raise awareness pay attention to what you're picking off of yourself put it in a ziploc if you have to take a picture of it whatever or you kill it be safe it, but again i'm not going to change my outdoor life because i got something crazy from a tick i'm still going to do the things that i've always done i'm just going to be a little more aware and a little more cautious and I'm not gonna eat meat anymore. Okay, so it is now the beginning of August and I've learned a little bit more about alpha-gal syndrome. So from my understanding, just because you get bit by a lone star tick does not mean you're going to get this. It only attacks certain people, but it still is very possible. There's no rhyme or reason to who gets it and why. Another thing is it's not just a red meat allergy. I can't have chicken that's cooked on the same grill as a steak. Cross-contamination seems to be a really big problem for me. Carrageenan, it's seaweed, highly allergic to that. Any ingredient that just lists natural flavors, that seems to be an issue. It could be plant-based, it could be mammal-based, basically anything with a mammal ingredient in it, I'm allergic to. I learned the hard way that I was poisoning myself with new toothpaste. I used new toothpaste for a whole entire week that had carrageenan in it. I was unaware. Who would have ever thought toothpaste, right? So learned that the hard way. It's been a struggle. Like I still have allergic reactions. Right now I'm going on seven days without an allergic reaction, which has been kind of nice. I'm not near as sore and oh shoot, Dozy needs out. So yes, I'm going on seven days currently without an allergic reaction, which is kind of a big deal. Um, prior to that, it seemed like every four days I was getting into something and reacting to it. Some reactions being worse than others. Back to cross-contamination. I have officially cut out eating at restaurants altogether. Every time I eat at a restaurant, I break out in a rash, no matter how careful I am. I'll explain to my waiter or waitress, you know, what the situation is, but I mean, I still manage to get cross-contamination. So Jason and Laura don't eat at restaurants anymore and that has been really weird. And it's just been a major lifestyle change. And yeah, I just thought I'd kind of update you guys that it is so much more than a red meat allergy. And I'm gonna continue to fight through this, power through this, change my lifestyle completely. Jason's been kind of doing the same. He's been go he went on my alpha gal diet with me. He does still eat some venison when I'm not around, which is nice of him to, yeah. He he's been good to me about this whole thing and probably more worried about me than I am. Do several tick checks while you are out in the woods. Don't wait till you get home. Be constantly checking for them. Be vigilant. Be aware of what's on you. Pick them off while you're still in the woods. This is preventable. So it, it's just by being aware. So yeah. Also the last video or what you just watched, I was down 15 pounds. Now I'm down 25 pounds. And it's not that I'm just a vegan. It's more than a vegan because a lot of vegan foods have seaweed in them and I'm allergic to a lot of seaweed. So carrageenan specifically, and that is in a lot of vegan and vegetarian foods. So it's been interesting, but um, hopefully I won't lose any more weight. I actually do think I might have my nutrition figured out now. I say that and then I mess up again, but yeah, just be aware guys, be safe. And thanks for watching this public service announcement. Don't get alpha-gal syndrome. You don't want it.